What is good guys, we are with World Cup semi-final tricking from Team Italy versus ABR from US Northeast. So we see some uh, Megaladias balance on ABR side with that wish pass Alamomola. Um, yeah, Alamomola always wants wish protect toxic and the last move is a knockoff or scald. Then, yeah, I think it's going to be a hazard stacking team from ABR side. Is that Scarf Lando or Scarf Tren? Uh, obviously Spikes Ferrothorn most likely. Probably some sort of Calmind Clefable. Um, if Lando and Tren are both not the Rockers, then I could see the Clef being the Rocker. But I assume the Clef is either a Calmind to attacks or a Calmind Cosmic Power variant. Uh, ABR used Calmind Cosmic Power a few times, uh, I think last year in tournaments. And yeah, on Tricking side, Reuniclus... Uh, is that a Mega Tita or a Band Tita? I could see that being a Mega Tita because Mega Tita is a good Heatran check. Probably Rocks Heatran uh, and Scarf Landris. Uh, sp some sort of Spadev type of Bulu. Either Spadev Lefties um, or Assault Vests. Because otherwise Greninja is a big problem to him. Um, yeah, Defog Torn. Common Reuniclus. Uh, Reuniclus could be the Z-move user or Tornadus could be the Z-move user. But I think since he has um, a type of Bulu, the Tornadus is most likely Rocky Helmet. Because otherwise, um, he needs a bulky Tornadus with Rocky Helmet. Because otherwise, Kartana is a threat to his team. Because he gives Kartana the terrain with his Bulu. So I think that's going to be a Helmet, Torn, and a Z-move. Probably Reuniclus. So we see Landris lead was Heatran. Uh, ABI is most likely going to switch out here into. Alomomola or his own Landris. And I assume we see a U turn here from Tricking. Uh, if this is a Scarf Landris. Which, like, this just makes the most sense to be the Scarfer. Uh, Tapu Bulu can also check Zygarde, so this doesn't have to be defensive land. But if this is for some reason the Rocker, then Tricking could go for Rocks here. But yeah, okay, ABI goes for Protect. Tricking goes for Earthquake. Um, so ABI has Protect Heatran, which lets him scout out what the Lando locks itself into. So I assume we're going to see Tricking double out here, knowing that ABR knows that this is most likely locked into Earthquake. So ABI is going to switch into either Ladi, Alamomola or Lando. So Tricking doubles out in the, um, his Tornadus, which covers all those three. And now Tricking can probably click Knockoff or U-Turn here. Um, Maybe I probably doesn't want to U-turn out here because I was just gonna say because this is most likely Rocky Helmet um, Tornadus. So ABI definitely doesn't want to U-turn. Um, I thought that tricking, yeah, U-turn or knockoff were the options for tricking. But yeah, we see it's Choice Scarf Landris with uh, definitely some sort of attack investment that's donated a lot to the Tornadus. If it's bulky torn, that might even be max attack. I'm not sure on that though. He goes into Tita knowing that this is locked into his Stone Edge, and I assume this is Megatar and. We could see the rocks go up here, or we. Um, ABI definitely has to switch here. Um, he's locked into Stone Edge and he has to fear a potential Ice Beam. He's probably gonna switch to Clef or Alamomola. Probably into Alamomola. Uh, Alamomola lets in the Reuniclus for free though, so maybe. Maybe he's gonna double the next turn after. But it's either Clef or Ella that are gonna come out here because you don't go Ferrothorn because. Oh, he goes Ferro. What if this is Fire Bunch or Fire Blast? That's, that's weird. So, um, Tricking does have rocks on Megatita, I figure that might be the case. Um, that means the Heatron gets another move slot, so Heatron can be... It is fire move. Yeah, see, that's why I'm so surprised. Why did ABI go to this instead of going into Alamomola or Clefable? I don't understand that play. I don't get it. Fire Punch is definitely an option on, on Tita. Like, what? I'm so confused. But yeah, now, um... He's either gonna go... I don't think he wants to go Landris, because if he goes Landris... And he U-turns, then he takes helmet damage if Tricking goes to Torn. Uh, but yeah, that was like to me quite obvious. I think I talked about it at Team Period. This is most likely a Mega Tita. So he does go Alamomola. Um, Tricking can just go into his Reuniclus here. Maybe I could go for a knockoff to see if it's a Leftovers or Z-Move uh, Reuniclus. But it could also be a Z-Move Heatran on Tricking side. I was just gonna try to talk about the Heatran set. Uh, Heatran is probably Taunt, Earth Power, Magma Storm. And then the last move could be Toxic. Could be Flash Can, could be Solar Beam, depending on what Z-Move the Heatran is, if it's Z-Move. Or if it's a Lefty's Heatran, then the last move could be something like Toxic or Will-O-Wisp. And then a Z-Move would be on Reuniclus. But yeah, we see a Tricking go into Heatran on the Alamola as ABR throws up a Wish. And Tricking switches out into Bulu next turn. I think that um, ABR gets up the rocks. A tricking doesn't want to stay in there on a potential um, Magma Storm. 
what was I gonna say? Tricking went hard into his heat turn on Alamomola, which means he might be um, Z move and he didn't really care about knockoff. But the main reason he went heat turn on Alamomola is because, yeah, I mean, it also covers a toxic. Uh, maybe he was. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why he went heat turn instead of Reuniclus, but they're playing kind of fast. I'm trying to like analyze every turn, but I'm behind as fuck. But yeah, ABI uh, goes into Lari. I think Tricky can go for Toxic here if he has that, or maybe. Does he have Toxic or Z Coxco Crash? No, oh, he just goes for Magma Storm. He's gonna get the. Um, we see that he only gets Terrain Break, he doesn't get Leftovers back, so this is definitely a Z move Heat Trend. I don't know why he um, let the Heat Trend take the Surf, though. I thought the only reason why he let the Heat Trend in on the Lari is if he has Toxic. Um, because obviously, I think Z Coxco Crash wouldn't do um, enough from full. I guess he went for Magma Storm. In case ABI didn't serve that he could have trapped the Megalari next turn with Corkscrew Crash maybe. But yeah, if this Tita that comes out on the Ice Beam here, so ABI showed Surf, Ice Beam, um, Recover, and then it's either Defog Wish or HP Fire on the last slot. Uh, HP Fire is usually used on these type of teams because ABR's team is quite weak to Kartana. Uh, if Tricking has Pursuit here, he can definitely click Pursuit. ABI clicks Recover knowing that if Pursuit comes out, that's, yeah doesn't do enough and ABR makes a really good play there and um, this is completely fine though for tricking because he has the terrain going for him and he does predict ABR to want to stay in with the Lari and goes for Stone Edge and he gets rid of the Lari and his Tita is still at full uh, thanks to Grassy Terrain and Sandstorm obviously um, gives him this Bedev boost because Tita is a rock type so ABR is probably gonna click U-turn here if uh, tricking wants to stay in I assume ABR is gonna U-turn out into the Alamomola or if tricking switches uh, he goes into Landris we could maybe see the Clefable Oh, the Alamomola come out here. Yep, so there's the Clef. So if this is Cosmic Power Clef, we could see ABR setup here. I mean, it's definitely some Call Mind Clefable. I just don't know if the other move is Cosmic Power or if it's some coverage move. If it's T-Wave. T-Wave is an option as well. I didn't talk about that yet. So um, Tricking goes into Bulu. I assume we're going to see a SD here from Tricking's Bulu. And probably... Bulu should beat this Clef 1v1, so this is bad for ABR. He might want to go hard into his heat run here, predicting an SD. Uh, if he stays in here on an SD, I don't think he can beat this Bulu, unless he pulls up with T-Wave and he goes for Hex. Um, because SD up, even if this Clef is Cosmic Power, I think Bulu should still beat it, right? Maybe not after the Terrain runs out and if the Clef gets enough boost, but Terrain still has enough turn, so he does SD up. Does he have T-Wave? Just, just go for Moonblast and gets a crit. So that's an unfortunate crit. Uh, I assume this Tabu Bulu is uh, SD Horn Leech Superpower and then either Protect or Synthesis. So ABR goes into Heatran knowing that he's not gonna superpower that turn. He's either gonna Horn Leech or he's gonna Synthesis or Protect. Like, or yeah, like he's not gonna superpower that turn. So ABR gets the Heatran and um, Tricking knows that most likely Madman Storm is gonna come out, goes in the Heatran. Okay, ABR does into Landris. Basically, Tricking didn't want to risk his Tapu Bulu, because Bulu can always um, beat the Clefable. Uh, Common Runiclus, if it has Psyshock, probably also beats the Clef 1v1. But if it's a Cosmic Power Clef, or if the Clef crits the Runiclus, that can be ugly. So I understand wanting to keep the Bulu around, because Bulu can also, yeah. Deal with Alamomola, so ABR locks into Scarf Stone Edge. Tricking was willing to sack uh, the Heatran, he gets to see what ABR locks himself into. And he has a few options here, he can go Runiclus, he can go... How healthy is ABR's Heatran? It's at full. Uh, so unless this is Focus Blast Reuniclus, the Heatran can still beat this with 1v1 one one quite easy, I think. So ABR obviously has to switch because this is locked into Stone. He goes into Alamomola. Uh, so I assume he's going to knock off here to see if this is Leftovers Reuniclus, which is most likely going to be Leftovers because the Heatran didn't... Oh, it's Grassy Seed. I didn't even think about that, yeah. Grassy Seed is cool because you get a defense boost with um, Grassy Terrain from Bulu. Uh, he didn't get that activated, unfortunately, uh, but he doesn't need a defense boost, really, because ABR's only physical attack is Landris, and Scarf Landris doesn't do enough to Reuniclus. So, um, we could see Tricking probably Calmind up again here, and th this game is pretty much over. He can just spam Calmind, uh, because if he boots his Spadef up enough, the Heatran cannot beat this Reuniclus at all. Uh, even if the Heatran ta taunts it, he goes for recover here, I assume? No, he comments again. Yeah, comments again is a fi fine play. I assume we're gonna see a recover slash um, attack here from the Reunion class. Yeah, he does go for, just, just go for recover. So Landers has punishment and he doesn't scout for that. Um, I didn't get time to talk about that, but 
Yeah, use is used that sometimes. Uh, Flame Victory used that last year in World Cup. Punishment um, is, I think, base 60 and it gets stronger for every command boost you have. I didn't even talk about it. So the reason why Tricking thought that this didn't have punishment was because it was already staunch. Oh, he pursues him there, no one is locked into punishment. Really good play on Tricking's side. I mean, it was really obvious that ABR wasn't gonna stay in. Uh, even if ABR stayed in, punishment wouldn't have done anything to the Tita and Pursuit beat it 1v1. So Tricking makes the correct play there. He's able to trap the Landris and now. Alomola or Clef has to come out. Um, I think SD Bolo plus... I think Tricking is still in a fine position, but... Ibia has a kind of a chance to win this now. That punishment was big. But yeah, usually on Landris you see U-turn, Earthquake, and then it's like HP Ice Defog. And sometimes instead of HP Ice you see Stone Edge or Punishment, but it's really uncommon that you see... Stone Edge and Punishment on the same set, so I assume Tricking didn't expect him to have both. So Almomola comes out, can click um, Toxic here or Knockoff. I assume the last move is Toxic, it could be Scald as well, but Toxic is usually um, set in stone on Almomola. Or did he wish? Okay, he did just wish. Okay, so I didn't think that the Stone Edge would do that much, but yeah, this is an offensive Tita. Uh, MER makes the correct play. Uh, my bad that I thought he could just go for Toxic on. Yeah. But yeah, now ABI kind of has to click Protect here. So Trigon could switch out here into his... Uh, he could maybe go into Tornadus to get some regen. But basically the reason why ABI can afford to run Stone Edge and Punishment on his Landris is because he, he probably doesn't have Defog. Because uh, his team has Hazard stacking. He has uh, Spikes that he didn't ever get up because his um, Ferrosong got sniped. ABI makes the safe play there, which is correct. You cannot risk losing your Almomola in case Tricking stays in. I assume he just has to wish and protect and stall this out. And especially when the Sandstorm runs out, uh, ABI is completely fine here. And Stonish also only has 4 PP left. So this Tita, yeah, Mega Tita, this is the Scourge. You see this sometimes, but you also can see something like um, Ice Beam, Ice Punch. You have seen actually Team Germany use Blizzard this World Cup. I also recorded that game. I think I haven't uploaded it yet. But yeah, ABI has to protect again here. He doesn't want to risk losing the Almomola. And yeah, Tricking's... His Tricking's Tita is at 27 if he switches out and comes back in after rocks, so he might not... He might just want to stay in here because he's like super low anyway. And uh, the Heatran can probably kill the Tita with off power um, at 27 anyway if he switches out. But yeah, good play there getting the Bulu in uh, only protect from Tricking's side. So maybe I could go for Toxic or Harden to his Heatran here. Yeah, those are the two plays I expect him to make. You either go hard into Heatran because it covers the SD or you go for Toxic. Um, so Tricking could... Horn Leech definitely doesn't Oko, so Toxic is an option. Hmm. What's Tricking's play here? He, he Good play there going into Torn because uh, you don't want to let the Tapu Bulu get toxic And now I can see Tricking double out just to get some Regenerator. Um, maybe I could... Maybe I could click knockoff here, I think. What do you switch out into here if you're tricking? You don't really have a good switch in, you just click protect. And yeah, tricking tries to get off a defog, so he's gonna sack this torn. I thought he was trying to double out to get region, but I guess he's just sacking this. So he can get the defog off here, which means his Tita is probably able to live off power from Heatran, which is cool for tricking. Um, I don't know, did we see Heatran's lefties or... Did we see if Heatran on ABI side is lefties or Z-move yet? I'm pretty sure we did see. It's lefties, okay. So that means it's not Z-move. It definitely cannot kill the Tita from here. Grace the Terrain helps the Tita. Uh, so Tricking did go for U-turn. He gets the Tita in on the trend. Tricking is just gonna click Stone Edge here. And he misses. So did we see... What do we see? Toxic will So just Lava Plume, okay. And he gets a burn. So that's quite unfortunate. Stone Edge would have done, um, I would head cut, it would have done like 65% to the Heatran. I assume it's just max HP Heatran. Maybe Spadev Trend because it has Protect. Style for Glava Plume. Last move is either Toxic or Off Power, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, that sucked a lot. Miss into Burn. Would have been able to bring the Heatran low, and if Heatran dies, um, Tapu Bulu is able to just win the game for tricking. So that sucks a lot. Um,. Avia definitely has a chance to win this game now. The the punishment was one big factor and Yeah, like you can say Tricking should have scouted for the punishment. But I assume he just definitely didn't expect the Lando to have punishment and Stone Edge after it already revealed Stone Edge, because that's like super uncommon that you see both. The so Tricking sacks of his um what did he just sack of? I'm confused because of the nicknames. He sacked off the tornadoes. 
And Tapu Bulu can probably live a um, can obviously live a lava plume, but superpower doesn't occur this heat run. So I assume we're gonna see it as maybe SD here from tricking, and then if he doesn't get burned by lava plume, superpower can the next turn kill the heat run. But now this is like not in tricking's hands anymore. If he gets burned, he just loses, I think. So he SDs up, lava plume is gonna be like 50, 60 percent, 58. And he does get the burn. Oh, ABI is so lucky. So the tricking just loses now, I think. Um, yeah, like he, he did miss by staying in on the punishment, but I also didn't see the punishment coming. But yeah. I don't know, like in a tournament game, that's something you have to consider. I just didn't think about it in the second, but obviously if you're playing, you have to like take your time that turn. That like sometimes we're playing a bit too fast for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Tricking got one play wrong and this game, the game punished him with Stone Edge miss into burn on Tita into Lava Plume burn on his Bulu and now Superpower cannot kill the Heatran. Lava Plume is gonna kill the Tapu Bulu and Avia just wins uh, with either Alamomola or Clef. Um, yeah, Alamomola can just wish, pro wish Toxic Protect versus Tita and Landris and Avia is gonna take the victory home for US North East. So the score at the moment is... Um, I think it's 2-1 for US Northeast, so now ABI wins, so now it's 3-1. and one. Oh, yeah, quite unfortunate for tricking. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, I feel like this wasn't my best narration, because yeah, at one time I was kind of out of it. But yeah, I definitely wanted to do this one live. It's like, what's it called? It's almost midnight here, and yeah, thankfully I was around. Like, I had to do something, like... 20 minutes ago, but I came back just in time, so that was cool. And yeah, use Nazis is up 3 1 now. And the other games that are left, I think Hi here, however you pronounce him, is playing Snow tomorrow. So, gonna bring you guys that. What else is left? My man is gonna bring you the ADV game that already happened between ZF and Smilzo. I, I hope I pronounced that correct. And yeah. Yeah, these type of teams, I just wanna say real quick. They're really weak to command Reuniclus. Um, so I guess in that regard, if you think about it for a while, it's quite obvious that ABI would have punishment on the Landris. And since he has a hazard stacking team, I guess he, do he doesn't really need Defog. Because the opponent is either going to Defog for him or he's going to play with hazards on both sides. And he also has wish support with Alamomola, so he can uh, cancel out Spike's damage on his side. And this has Magic Guard. Um, and yeah, this and this don't they don't get affected by spikes. So like his team is not super weak to hazards with the wish support and also the opponent is gonna defog for ABR sometimes. So in that regard it definitely makes sense, yeah. Um But yeah. I guess props to ABR prepped well with I don't know, does he build his teams always on his own or maybe his team helped him? I don't know, I don't know exactly. I know he builds a lot and I'm gonna be hyped to see him um, play for the official ladder tournament. Hopefully he's gonna qualify again. I think that starts, um, that got like moved, it starts in I think 12 days or 11 days? 12 days, something like that. Around two weeks. I think after World Cup ends pretty much. There's gonna be a tie break, which means World Cup is gonna be longer. I think all team might be later. Um, but yeah. I, I just keep talking here. I feel like I forgot something that I wanted to say. Yeah, Grassy Seed is cool on the on the Rio Nicholas. Basically, um, Tricking should, could have switched out on the Punishment. I don't remember how healthy his Torn was, but he could have gone Torn to get Regen. If his Torn was healthy enough to live a Punishment, I don't remember. Uh, another really cool play would have been going hard into Tita on the Punishment. Um... And then pursue trap the landers, and then Reuniclus could set up again and win the game. This Heatran probably didn't have taunt. I assume either off power or toxic, like I said. So it couldn't even stop the Reuniclus from setting up with taunt. So this Reuniclus is actually like super six old besides Landris. So like I said, if you think about it, it had to be punishment Lando. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm repeating myself at this point. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. And stay tuned for more content. And I feel bad for tricking because I feel like. Yes, he did get that play wrong, but he deserved this win. And I wanted to see a close. Mainly, I wanted to see a close series. Uh, no, I think you, I think it's three one now for Northeast, if I'm not mistaken. There's a classic game starting between uh, Lavos and Lex. Is it classic or is it World Cup? I think it's classic. Um, yeah, I'm not too much into Gen One. Blunder's playing. I assume that's just a friendly. I'm not gonna record that. Yeah, also my friend Dennis is Italian, so I'm kind of rooting for Team Italy. 
because of that. And yeah, just wanted to see a close series. Uh, I don't necessarily need tiebreakers because that's more games. Um, but tiebreakers are also super fun to watch. But I kind of want ulti to start sooner, so I don't need tiebreakers. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. And peace out, friends.